Welcome to the Card Dojo. My name is Sean, and guys, today we have Brothers and Cards, the Pack Plus program. We are doing a football gold, so we're starting off with baseball, of course, which is the Blitz Knight bonus pack. Uh, it's big and chunky. Uh, hobby exclusive. For the core feature, we had a first off the line contenders. Gold feature, clearly Donruss. Um, and then in the randomizer, we have a standard contenders. We got three Donruss. Right there. We got two certifieds. And we finally hit a prism pack. So there you go, guys. Let's put that in some kind of a, a fun order. I think that will do. And we'll do the baseball first. You'll have to help me with this because I really don't know. Not only is, is it Bowman, it's Bowman draft. Which means we're going deep into prospecting, which I'm absolutely uh, horrible with. And immediately, we can see the cards are um, in different directions. So we'll, we'll do it like that. We'll flip it over. Okay, I'm also not good at pronouncing baseball players' names. So uh, Valerio, uh, Fabian, the first Bowman. We got Ben Joyce, the first Bowman. Uh, Snelling, first. Then we have De Los Santos for the Pirates. Hughes, first Bowman. If, if these are first Bowmans that are fantastic, please let me know in the comments. We have De Lauter. Uh, there we go for the Yankees PC, Roderick Ari Arias. I'm not too familiar with him, but he's a Yankee apparently, so that's great for the PC pile. We have uh, Bittison, the first Bowman, Polanco, um, Palette, Pallet, maybe, first. Okay, Drew Thorpe, the first, and here's some Chrome. Should we go to the back first? Yeah, because they're paper as well. Flip them over. We'll see that guy once again. Uh, we have Trace Weenie for the Yankees PC. All right, that's two of them. Kennedy the first. Montgomery. Um, Serta. Schultz the first. We got Neto first. Uh, Lawler. Pacchiola the first Bowman. Uh, Eric Hernandez. Brenner Cox the first. Jonathan Cannon the first. And then there's Drew again. All right, so on some chromes, we got Clark Elliott the first Bowman. Followed by Oscar Colas. Uh, not the first. Uh, Munoz, not the first. Um, Balcazar, sure, maybe, possibly, I really don't know. Uh, Junior Ritchie, the first Bowman. This appears to be a, a parallel of some sort uh, for Dominic Keegan. Let's quickly look in the back. Uh, not numbered, but def definitely different. All right, yeah, definitely different. Uh, here we have for the A's an insert for... Um, Air apparent for Zach Neto. We have possibly a refractor or, or silver, you know, whatever they call it, for Guzman. And finally, guys, our first Bowman refractor for Jake Bennett. I think we saw Jake earlier. So two Jakes um, for the non-PC. All right, we're moving the baseball out of the way. And here we go, guys. On to a sport I'm slightly better with, football. This one is the standard. I wrote an F on the first off the line to... Help me designate the difference. So we have Terry McLaurin, Adam Thielen, Christian McCaffrey, Justin Herbert, CeeDee Lamb, and uh, John Elway. Yep, John Elway, legendary contender. Okay, first off the line. Come on, give us an auto. I never hit anything in contenders. That could all change with one pack, guys. It, it could. Will it? Probably not. Uh, so we have Elijah Moore, Cooper Cup, Mark Andrews. Tyron Matthew, ex-chief, there we go. Oh my goodness, we did get an auto. We'll save it, we'll save it. Jonathan Taylor, power players. And this auto is, we're just gonna flip it on the count of three. It is uh, Cam Jurgens. There you go, out of 49. Uh, he's a big fella. All right, so hey, you know what? A numbered card, right? Not really the on-card auto, but still, nice short print. There you go, there's the back, center. For the Philadelphia Eagles, we'll stand them up right there. There you go. Uh, they appeared in last year's Super Bowl. They got beat by some team. I forget who. All right, guys. On to Donruss. Um, we are looking for Chiefs, basically. Uh, maybe a poss possibly a hit. And I think we got one. That is chunky. And there's ink on it, so it's not a filler card. All right, so we have Tyquan Thornton. Followed by the champ is here. For Odell Beckham Jr. Okay. A red press proof for Ramondre Stevenson. The rated rookie for Nick Bonito. Followed by Derek Brown. Um, Nelson Aguilar. Mark Andrews. Let me hold these a little higher up. 
This is uh, Letter Me Tunsil. D Hop. Rumors are he might go to the Chiefs. I, I wouldn't really, uh, I'm not too concerned. We don't need him. Uh, here is a really chunky patch. I do believe. JK3. So, hmm. Jersey Kings number three. Let's find out, guys. On the count of three, one, two. Oh, there we go, guys. Look at that. Najee Harris. And that is out of 100, number 41. I don't know why it's so chunky. But hey, kind of almost the circle almost fits perfectly with the, uh, the logo there. That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, maybe just call it the prime. I really don't know. I imagine it's part of the... No, it would be gray if it was the Steelers logo. But we'll stand up a nice chunky uh, Najee there. All right. Pack number two. Definitely not as thick, but, you know, that means possibly an auto is in play. And uh, the auto would be slightly more desirable. <laughs> oh, maybe. All right. So we have Trey McBride, the Raider rookie. I have about 15 of these. Derwin James Jr. Tampa. Brady. Uh, CJ Mosley. Adam Thielen. We have Christian Kirk. Upside down Walter Payton. Oh, there we go. Travis Kelsey. Um, I think I was in a break where I did hit a bunch of these action all pros, but still, it's a nice Kelsey. We'll stand it up. All right. Okay, now we have a Gridiron King for Aiden Hutchinson. We just pulled the optic version of this card, and we do have a parallel. It's uh, Matt Judon. It's not the rated rookie. Um, is this numbered? Yes. Indeed it is. Out of 100, that is number 79. Uh, for the parallel pile, I'm not going to stand that one up. All right, here we go. Another non-chunky pack. I guess there's, what, 18 packs in the hobby box, and only one has an auto. So the odds are not in our favor, but you never know. Uh, Kobe Bryant, the rated rookie. We got um, Owosu Kormoa, Patrick Sartain, Daniel Jones. There we go for the Giants PC. Uh, Tremaine Edmonds, Davis Mills, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Aaron Jones. Slight difference. Why does this card feel thick? Uh, this might be, this card is definitely thick. This is the aqueous test. Hold on. Um, I don't know. I could just be losing my mind, but it's definitely 100% thicker than the other cards. Uh, so I will put it to the side and we'll figure that one out. Okay, anyway, wasting time. Here we have a, an elite series for Chris Godwin. And finally... No, not, and finally, we have inducted for Tony Boselli. Yeah, okay. And finally now, appropriately, we have Dak Prescott. <clears throat> okay, so now we're on to certified. Um, there is potential for an RPA in these, but these packs are not chunky. So potential for an auto. You know, we still got a little something to chase here. Maybe numbered cards. Maybe a nice Patrick Mahomes of some sort. Actually, this card, this, this pack is thick. There is a filler in it. Um, Kyler Murray, a lot less cards than in Donruss, so they don't feel thick after ripping Donruss. Uh, that was a Drew Locke, the filler card. We have Dark Horses for Amon Ra St. Brown, Debo, and then Tyreek Hill. Not the Chief anymore. All right, that was a non-eventful pack. This one is, yeah, definitely thin, all right? No filler in this one, so potentially the auto's in here. The secondary auto, which could be good. Could be a nice vet. You never know. All right, we got CD Lamb. Let's just take a peek. Uh, I don't think so. We got CD Lamb, Darius Leonard. Um, the uh, what do they call this? Yeah, 2022, right? Uh, Isaiah Spiller, and that one is numbered out of 149. That is number 39. Not too bad for the rivals over there in San Diego. We'll stand them up. It is a numbered card. Why not? There we go. And they are pretty cool looking. Uh, Corey Davis. And then finally, this guy. We'll get rid of him. All right, Clearly Donruss. I have never ripped a Clearly Donruss. I considered getting a hobby box of it, but then I, uh, I think the prices went back up a little bit. So I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. But here we get one chance and one chance only to pull possibly a case hit. So we got, it's kind of hard when it's like, all uh, you can see every single one of the cards in one viewing. I see a Niner somewhere back there. Uh, he, he could be the uh, defender, though. So we got DK Metcalf. Let me hold it up so you can actually see it. Oh, he was the first card. <laughs> All right. uh, Jamar Chase. There you go. Lovely. 
we got Jonathan Taylor, and that is uh, highlights. We have rated rookie for Bellis Jones Jr. And, hey, not too bad, Aiden Hutchinson. I don't think anything there was a parallel, uh, but we did have the one insert. All right, guys, just like that, we are down to the very last pack, Prism. I believe there's, what, 12 packs per box, maybe two autos, so a one in six chance that this card has some kind of ink somewhere within it. Should we spoil it? Okay, we do have, a, looks like a, a hyper, possibly. We'll put it in the back. These might be the rookies, yes. Um, Kair Elam, Elam is uh, the rookie for the Bills. We got Kenneth Walker the third for the Seattle Seahawks. On to some base, Carson Wentz, let's get a Chief, just for fun. Uh, Cameron Hayward, Alvin Kamara, Khalil Mack, Donald Driver, Derek Carr, uh, Mike Ditka, I was going to say, this is a parallel, but no, it's just black and white because he's old. All right. Um, Richie Grant, and here we go. A silver. Looks like it's not, it is a rookie. It could be a, a Brees or a Sauce. It is. There you go. Brees. I, I guess twice, so, you know, increase my chances. And here we have a Patriot. Uh, it is not a rookie, so maybe a Mac Jones second year on the, the Hyper. No, it's Wes Walker. Interesting. There we go. Beautiful looking card. Really got to appreciate the hyperism. And that is out of 175, number 79. So there you go, guys. We started out hot and kind of cooled off, but still, it was a pretty good, pretty good fun. Uh, good box. Uh, definitely had good pack value. Higher than I've been getting, but the, the cards were still pretty fun. We got one Chief, and we got a Chunky Patch, and we got an Auto. So hey, we hit the average of a hobby box anyway, right? All right, guys, uh, tomorrow we're going to have basketball. Uh, you'll have to help me. It'll be the NBA playoff prediction, which, you know, is just going to be a bunch of fat packs. So who knows, all right? As always, thank you so much for stopping by, and take care.